Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the error. This effect requires GPU acceleration in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to be showing you a couple of different steps that can work in today's video. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing I'm going to be doing in today's video to fix this is going to be changing our GPU acceleration. To do this, we're going to be coming up to the top left of Premiere Pro. We're going to be clicking on file. We're going to be coming to project settings. We're going to be selecting general. And from here, what we're going to be doing is changing our video renderer. In this case, it's going to be set to software only. And we're going to be changing it to the GPU acceleration, or in this case, OpenCL. Now, depending on if you have an NVIDIA or an AMD graphics card, this can either come up as OpenCL or CUDA. But all you need to do is select whatever is available here, select this, click OK, and then most likely your effect will go away. However, based on my previous video, I've had a couple of other comments from other people having issues. My next suggestion would be to fully close down Premiere Pro, reopen it up, reopen up the same project, and make sure all your settings are correct. If you're still having the same issue with the pop-up, what I would next suggest to do is click on the video clip that you're trying to affect. In this case, I have it on my outro right here. We're going to need to make sure the clip that is giving us issues is selected on the canvas. We're then going to be coming up to our effects control panel. If you can't find this, simply go to window and click on effect controls. And here we'll open up all the different effects that are currently on our video. Now at the moment, I have three different effects. I have a crop, I have a fast color corrector, and then I have the effect that actually started to give me issues, which is the chromatic aberrations. What you can do is actually click and drag this to the very top. And I've heard that this also helps for some people. You can see a comment on screen from a user who showed this in my previous video, and this seemed to work for a lot of people. And that will also potentially help with this. The next thing I would suggest doing is actually completing deleting the effect and then re-adding it once you have all the previous steps tried. So again, I'm just going to be adding this effect again by coming back to our effects panel. If you can't find this, simply go to window and click on effects. And I'm just going to be selecting the VR chromatic aberrations again and clicking and dragging it onto my outro. And just like that, it should be set. Again, you might have to click and drag this to the top in your effects control panel, but this is another thing that can be helpful. The next thing I've heard and read that can actually help is to remove all other effects on this video clip. So in today's video, I actually have three different effects, the chromatic aberrations, the crop and the fast color corrector. So what you can actually do is toggle these on and off and see if that helps. Otherwise, try completely removing these other two effects and only leave the effect that you want that's actually giving you issues and see if this can help fix the problem as well. If you're still having issues, the one last thing I can suggest that might work, and this goes both ways, is to either add it to an adjustment layer or switch it off the adjustment layer and add it to the video track itself. So today's video, I actually have it on the video track itself. However, what I'm going to be doing is creating an adjustment layer and adding it to that instead. So you can follow along with this. To add it to an adjustment layer, what we need to do is come to our project bin. We're going to be clicking on a new item and we're going to be adding an adjustment layer. All of our settings will be pre-filled so we can simply click OK here. And then I'm going to be dragging and dropping my adjustment layer on top of the video track that we want to affect. I'm then just going to be zooming in on my timeline right here. And I'm going to be stretching this adjustment layer over the entire clip that I want to affect. What we're then going to have to do is copy and paste the effect from one layer to another. So in today's video, I'm going to be moving it from my video clip to my adjustment layer. However, you can also try doing it in the opposite direction from your adjustment layer to your video clip. And I've heard that can help with some people just switching it back and forth. So what I'm going to be doing is copying it directly. Again, I'm going to be selecting my outro. I'm going to be coming back to my effects control panel. I'm going to be selecting my chromatic aberrations. I'm going to be copying by clicking control C. I'm then going to be selecting my adjustment layer and I'm simply going to be pasting by clicking control V. And then this will add it on top of my adjustment layer rather than my video. I'm then going to be going back to my video track and I'm simply going to be deleting this from on top of here. And then it will only show up on top of my adjustment layer. And then you can also try doing this in the opposite direction. If you have it on an adjustment layer, try moving it to your outro and vice versa. So based on my previous video, it did seem some people were having issues. So I wanted to collect and gather some of the most popular information and advice that people had, put it in this one video for a couple of different fixes that should work and can kind of help out for you. If you have any other tips, be sure to leave it down in the comments down below. I'll try to help out as much as I can. But these are the different things that I've read that have helped people out. So I wanted to just concatenate these in an updated video. Anyway, guys, it should be as easy as that to fix this error in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.